Hi everyone, I'm Heinz and welcome back to SIC Forex. I hope you are having a good week and remember if you like any part of this video to drop it a like as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. In this video we'll take a look at Hamster Scalping EA and you guys will help me decide if I should buy this MT5 Expert Advisor. It is available for only $30 However, I'm going to take you through the process that I do before purchasing a expert advisor. The hamster scalper is available on the marketplace for both MT4 and MT5 and combined they have over 40,000 downloads with above 4.5 star rating. It also has 122 reviews with 1,918 comments. The Hamster Scalper is one of the older spots and has been available since January of 2018 with the current version of level 17. It is a nighttime scalping expert advisor that uses the relative strength index indicator and the average true range based filters. It does need a hedging account and there are a couple of recommendations for it to be profitable and working optimally. First, what I always do is take a look at the seller. Now you'll see the seller does have a few other bots available, however it isn't overpowering or too many. He also publishes signals for the different expert advisors or robots that he has available for purchase. Let's take a look at the one that we are featuring today, which is the hamster scalper. Now, if you look at the hamster scalping graph, you'll see in the last three weeks, it's currently had a growth of 337 and it was last traded 21 minutes ago. So it shows you that it is an active account. Now, the growth, as you see it, is an initial deposit of 3,000, currently stands on an equity of 13,100 or a profit of 10,000 with a floating profit of $13. You'll see that the maximum deposit load is very high and the maximum drawdown of 66% is also very high. If we look at the different graphs for the equity, the balance and the curve, you'll see different growth and returns for the specific expert advisor. Let's take a look at some of the more recommendations that are published about the bot. The general recommendation is the minimum of a $100 account with an ECN broker or ECN account with a minimum spread. On the MT4 version, the recommended spread is between 3 and 5 and the latency in my recommendation should be below 5 milliseconds. The default settings for the MT5 version are based on the Euro GHD and GMT plus 3 for the 5 minute time frame. It also has a built-in news filter, so the author tells us instructions on how to add the website and enable the news filter option. It also shows us a few images of what the bot would look like when it's trading. It does feature two different options, one the grid option and the other a base option. On our strategy test of visual mode, we'll take a closer look at these and see what the two strategies look like. Overall, the reviews, comments and recommendations about the bot sound really good and there are quite a lot of them. The author also provides you with additional bonus when purchasing the bot, which seems to be a set file. What I'd like to do next is download the free demo version like 15,000 others and test the bot on MetaTrader 5. I'll be using MetaTrader 5 because of its advanced backtesting options and the fact that I can use every real tick data. So what I'm going to do on my MetaTrader 5 on the strategy tester pad, I have selected the expert advisor and my minimum recommended deposit would be 500. At first, we are going to use the visual mode and see what the two different strategies that the bot is based on looks like. So on default, it is set to grid. So let's take a look at what the grid trading style strategy looks like. So as you can see, we started the 
trading at the 10th of January and already the bot is placing a very high quantity of trades. It looks to be a very aggressive style grid scalper. If we look at our daily profits already up $28.46 in only a day of trading. It is important to note that these grid style bots are very exposed to high news and volatile market conditions. Next, let's take a look at the base strategy. So what it looks like the base strategy does is place multiple trades at a single location in the trade. While it's holding on to these trades, it still continues to trade in its normal fashion and then simply holds the drawdown until price returns to the level. You will see there's quite a lot of optimization and different options available for the bot. So what I'd like to do is actually use a set file that I've made from the ones that are available in the community. If you check under the MT4 version, the author has provided an already optimized set file for the bot. But first, let's take a look at what happens on the default and how extreme the drawdown might be if you don't use the bot correctly. So here you'll see this was our base mode. So what I'd like to do next is switch back to our regular testing and see what the bot would do over a longer period of time. So let's close our visual strategy test and next we're going to switch back to our grid one which is going to be our first full test from the 10th of January until the 10th of December. I am testing it with a 5 millisecond delay and a delay in execution for the bot is going to be very important. So again on default you see that it is very aggressive and then blows the account doesn't look very promising at this point in time let's take a look at the base choice for strategy and let's see how that does over the same testing period again i see on the base that it has a quite large stop loss for the strategy and because of this reason it doesn't seem to be performing too well now what I'd like to show you next is the set file that I made for hamster scalping that we will be testing next. Now the bot does offer a lot of choices. Remember it combines the ATR and RSI indicators and then there are options for the two different types of strategies. So the set file I built, I used Ramel's set file for MT4 and just copied the parameters to my MT5. After that, I made additional adjustments to try and make the bot a little bit safer. So I'm going to be using the grid strategy and the maximum buy and sell is still set at 10. However, I will only be trading for two hours in the morning as it is designed to be a nighttime scalper. Next, we won't be using the base settings, so I'm not going to adjust those. However, when it comes to our grid options, which is our strategy number two, I have made some adjustments to the grid as well as the initial deposit. So the initial lot is still 0 0.01. However, the lot multiplier I've decreased from 1.5 to 1.3. I've also changed the overlap number and the overlap percent. Now this bot does come with a very handy news filter. So this is one of the reasons why I am interested in purchasing the spot. However, what I'd like to do is I would like the subscribers to vote in the comments below if they'd like me to purchase the real version and test it on a live account. By doing that, we will have documented proof of what the bot performs like in the real market. I will open up the comments for votes and once we have tallied the votes, we will bring a follow-up video to see those results. So let's take a look at the deposit load and the graph. First thing that you've noticed, the new set file that I've made has been able to trade through that period in January where it previously blew the account.
It is also able to generate daily profits. However, because of the grid style, it is important to note that drawdown, as we saw from the signal, will be very present. You'll see these periods of drawdown can be quite severe and it is important to adjust your strategy and your settings according to your own balance. Remember, if you are using a smaller leverage, it means your buying power is less and you will need to have a larger balance to achieve the same results. So we'll see there's another large period of drawdown, which is typical to the grid style bots. And there we have an even larger period of drawdown down to 450. Overall, the bot is able with these settings to survive these hiccups. And because the news filter doesn't work in backtesting, it is important to take that into consideration as well. I know that this is a safer version of a very aggressive bot, but it is still able to generate a healthy return. In our next video, I will feature a more aggressive set file for the bot where it has been able to generate a very aggressive return curve. For now, we will be using the safer version of the set file, and I want you to comment if you've purchased the bot already, what your results are like trading it in the live market, so that the community at SIC can have a better idea if they are considering purchasing the bot. The other EA that I was looking at was the Black Dragon, which also showed a very healthy balance and return curve. It also uses a grid style trading. So if you are looking for a bot that has a set take profit and stop loss, I would recommend looking somewhere else. Because of the aggressive style of the bot, you'll see that it is still placing a high quantity of trades. However, it is making a steady return. The lot multiplier that I have decreased from 1.5 to 1.3 means that the next lots in the grid will be as big as it would be on default. It is important to take this into consideration because it does limit my potential growth. However, hopefully it will also limit my drawdown. The total net return for the testing period from the 10th of January to the 10th of December is $242 and an equity drawdown of 175 Our profit factor of 1.66 with a recovery factor of 1.38, but however the margin level is very high at 141%. It does place a large quantity of trades of 551, but is able to make a total profit of those out of 420 trades, or 76%. You'll see the trades are predominantly entered during the night scalping time frame between 2 and 3 in the Asia session, and then tries to close them during the rest of the day. The results for the bot in backtesting do look very impressive. However, I want you to place your votes in the comments if you'd like me to purchase the bot. It is important to note that the bot does need specific requirements to be profitable in the real market. It does need a high-speed virtual private server with a latency of less than 5 milliseconds. The recommended account type for this expert advisor is a ECN account, so make sure to take a look at different account options that are available with your broker. As always, if you enjoyed any part of this video, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.